Good morning. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope all of you are waking up today with a smile on your face and positivity in your heart and an amazing cup of coffee. You know, I love my coffee. Let me get that sip in there, right? My firehouse coffee starting every day just like that. Um, it is a gorgeous morning. So I don't know about all of you, but I love the cooler weather. I am not a hot, sticky weather girl, and I also don't like the freezing cold. So for me, these past couple mornings coming out here, taking a deep breath, the air is crisp and cooler, your humidity's down. It feels so amazing. It is so good. So I don't know about all of you, but physically and mentally, this type of weather really gives me the boost um, that I need. And I'm very blessed, so gratitude, gratitude, gratitude very very thankful that I am actually feeling pretty well rested today which has not been normal for me for quite some time so I'm really grateful for that and I just wanted to wish all of you a beautiful positive and amazing day reminding all of you to do your best to take some time for yourselves I think one of the best ways that we can start our day is by not having to rush into it and I know that's hard so you know for the most part for most of us we are waking up to an alarm clock and we're like crap there goes the alarm oh no I got to get up I don't have time you're going crazy you know and you're rushing around and the difficulty with that is that when we're rushing around we're not taking time to just calm our minds it's so difficult when we start our mornings in a rush, in a tizzy, in an, in an uproar, you know, in that negative fashion. So I know it's difficult when we have schedules to adhere to and, you know, maybe families and dogs and animals and, you know, children and things to take care of in the morning before we can even step out the door. But try to give yourself even just an extra five minutes when you get up in the morning that instead of having to literally jump out of bed, that you can wake up, take a deep breath, exhale, give thanks for the sleep that you were able to get that night, and then put your mind to positive thoughts, put your mind to positive affirmations. So wake up and say, Today is going to be an amazing day. Today, I am going to do my best. So whatever affirmations feel good for you, feel right for you, but waking up in the morning and focusing on positive thoughts, positive affirmations, not rushing into your day and starting in a chaotic fashion is a really good way to set the energy and the intentions of the day and where you want that day to go. And setting your intentions of the day too. So wake up and set your intentions. Okay, you know what? Today, I am going to stay off of social media until a certain time. Today, I am going to focus on myself and my happiness. Today, I am going to be happy. I am going to smile. Set those intentions for what you want to make that day become. And then attack it and make it happen. It is very easy to get caught up in the negatives. It is very easy to wake up in the morning and be like, I don't even want to do this. I don't even want to get out of bed. And I absolutely get that. So, and it's hard when we have issues with sleeping or maybe other health issues that we're waking up and we just immediately feel miserable. It's really hard to get ourselves in that right frame of mind. But even if you're not feeling well, push yourself, push yourself to think positive, push yourself to do positive affirmations because happiness truly lies within your hands. It's within your reach but you have to choose to want to try to want to try all of these beautiful tricks and tips and ideas and positive reminders that I give to all of you don't necessarily take away completely those bad days but they help 
And we really have to put the focus on ourselves, our happiness, our self-love, our needs. We must come first. We must put ourselves first. And you all have to realize that there's absolutely nothing selfish in putting yourself at the top of that list, at the top of the chart for the day, and that you can be your number one focus. There's so much I could say this morning, my goodness. <laughs> but I just want to wish everyone a beautiful, positive, amazing, amazing day. Hoping that all of you are truly taking the time for yourselves, for your self care, for your healing, for everything that you need to be living a positive, and beautiful life because when we do these when we focus on the positives okay when we focus on the positives we make them a priority it is going to make those difficult days just a little bit easier it's gonna make our life easier so do your best to get up in the morning and not rush take a few deep breaths and a few moments for yourselves even if you can squeeze in five minutes of meditation to really connect and set that energy for the day, that is highly recommended. <clears throat> and I know it's not easy for all of us to do those things, but you know, as I always teach, baby steps, baby steps, start small, okay? So set some expectations for yourself in making positive changes but start small so you're not overwhelming yourself and you're not setting yourself up for failure, but you're setting yourself up for success. Yes. So peace, love, positive blessings, and positive vibes to every single one of you. Wishing you a beautiful and amazing day. Remember to love yourself, take care of yourself, take a break, take those deep breaths, step away when you need to, and it is not selfish to take care of you.